Hello everyone, welcome to HP Extreme, the new generation of hot process soap making. This is Sharon with Rose of Sharon Essential Skin Care, and I'm so glad that you've decided to join me today for the making of Kaleidoscope Hot Process Soap. So before we get started, I wanted to once again announce the release of the SJHP SBHP ebook tutorial and recipes 10 minute hot process soap making with Sharon Johnson this ebook contains recipes as well as easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a fluid hot process soap on the countertop in less than 10 minutes so what are you waiting for get your copy today See what others are saying. Are you ready to take your soaping career to the next level? So are you guys ready to make some soap? Well, let's get started. Today, I'll be making the hot process version of Minty Fresh Soap by Nourishing Handmade Body Care. And the link to her video will be in the description box below. Yes, her soap is cold process soap but I wanted to make a video using similar techniques and demonstrate how this soap can also be created using hot process soap. And you guys should know me by now, I love a challenge and I love it when I can make hot process soap using cold process techniques. So please be sure to visit Nourishing Handmade Body Care's YouTube channel. And don't forget guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe to her channel as well. And here I'm adding about one teaspoon of warm water to my soap batter just to loosen things up a bit. And I will be using squeeze bottles today lined with a piping bag. It makes for much easier cleanup afterwards. Thank you. 
So now that that's finished, let's begin placing our soap in the mold. And of course I'll be using my favorite mold from Workshop Heritage. These molds are made using birch wood and are the best quality handmade molds I have ever used. I will place a link to her products in the description box below as well. And before I forget, I wanted to also mention that I always add my fragrance oils after coloring my soap and once the soap batter has reached approximately 140 degrees. So no worries at all about my fragrance or essential oils fading or not holding up. And actually, your fragrance and essential oils have better staying power in hot process soap making rather than cold process soap making because of the very harsh environment of cold process soap because again, there is still lye present when adding them to your soap. Now I know you're saying, what is she possibly doing with those squeeze bottles? Well, as I'm squeezing the bottles, it's actually forcing the soap all the way through to the bottom of the mold. Yes, fluid, hot process soap in a squeeze bottle. Who would have ever thought? So again, thank you so much Nourishing Handmade Body Care for such a wonderful idea. So here I'm spritzing the top of the soap with alcohol just to give me a smoother surface to work with. And now I'm incorporating all of the colors together with the end of a long handled spoon. That's it guys! I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial of the making of Kaleidoscope Hot Process Soap. But before I leave, I just wanted to say, may God continue to bless you, keep you, and shine His face upon you. And remember, no matter what happened yesterday, today, or even tomorrow, God's mercies are new every morning. Now please stay tuned for photos of the cut. And don't forget guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. God bless you!